G'day guys, what's cracking? Tawazi here again. So today, we're gonna go a chico roll, but we're gonna do it a bit different. We're gonna do it in the air fryer. See how it hits. Now, I can't lie folks, I'm not the biggest fan of the old chico rolls. I used to love them when I was a kid. I don't know what changed, but I do prefer the old spring roll to the chico roll, but I haven't tried it in the air fryer yet. Now, I'll just show you all this info on the back while I jabber on a bit more. So I was at my local IGA the other day and just happened to see them in the freezer for $7.47. Now, I'm assuming that was on special because I can't imagine IGA selling anything that cheap. So anyway guys, I'm going to have a go at doing these in the air fryer. Now it's saying from a preheated oven, if I can open the bloody things. <laughs> Oh, and uh, it's supposed to have the uh, bags in there too, like you get at the shop. That's what they look like. Four in a pack, so I reckon that's not too bad value for a start, whether you like them or not. $7, well under $8, less than $2 each. Quite chunky, that one. I'd love to see it. Anyway, folks, let's whack it in the air fryer. I'll give it 12 minutes, but I will check. Actually, I'm gonna put two in, because what I wanna do is I want to dissect one. Geez, they're a decent size. I am surprised. Are they smaller in the bloody takeaway shop? I don't know. Anyway, let's whack them in. I'll give them 12 minutes. So I usually just cook everything in the air fryer at 180. I can't be asked changing temperatures and whatnot. So it probably will take about 12 minutes. Let's do it. We'll check and if they're good and they're hot enough, we'll do them. We'll eat them after 12 minutes. Let's go. Okie dokie, we're about halfway through now. I reckon we better check them, see how they're looking. Looking pretty good to me. Doing a little bit. I was going to say feeling a little bit solid, but I guess the, that stuff always does, doesn't it? Plus they were from Frozen. Remember that, folks? From Frozen. Now, there was a little something, something that I forgot to do while I was doing that little intro. Just before I put that bag in there and it starts making noises and whatnot. Let's see the bags. The bags are supposed to be in there somewhere, which I totally forgot. So let's grab the bags. That's them. Roll home with a Chico. <laughs> well, I'm already home, so there won't be any rolling. You'll be rolling home after you've been to the pub and been to the takeaway, and you've had a few beers, but maybe that's the problem. Maybe it goes better with a beer. I'll have to try that one day. But there's your packets anyway. Roll home with a Chico roll. All right, so we might whack one in a bag and do it bag style but I also want to dissect one now let's get this thing back in and finish off the cooking process your beauty mate okie dokie let's check them out so looking pretty good I don't think I'll use my fingers to get them out could burn me tips. Let's I'll give you a close-up of them, of one of them anyway. Look at that. Cook to perfection, I reckon. A little bit of a brown tinge to them. Looking totally on point. Another one. Looking good. You see those bits of carrot and whatnot. And away we go. Let's get one of them in the bag. I reckon the best way to do it is get the old tongs in there, open it up. Look at that. What a professional. And stick it in. It's pretty hot, so I wanted to use the tongs. There you go, folks. The iconic Chico roll. Bag and all. Couldn't you go a Chico roll? Now, before I do what I'm going to do with that, 
I'm gonna have a bite of this. See how it hits from the air fryer. Let's give it a crack. Let's hope we don't burn the old laughing gear. On first bite. I actually think it tastes a little bit better from the air fryer, probably because it hasn't been soaked in grease. It doesn't look as that greasy, of course. So, folks, a little bit impressed with that one. I am liking it, but still could be better. Let's see how this goes. And of course, it's piping hot. That's the way you want it. Just like your pies. If you had a pie, you want it piping hot. So, time for the old dis dissection. I actually saw someone do a video of this before, and that's what got me spurred on. All right, time for the big reveal. I reckon we can use the old fingers now. Let's give it a crack. Oh, it's still pretty hot. Look at that steam. I don't know if you can see that. Wow. I actually think that looks quite disgusting. <laughs> but, piping hot now, folks. You know, if I put this back together, it's probably going to ooze out everywhere. So, I got a little plan, and hopefully, we can build the old Chico roll back better. I'm going to whack some cheese in it. <laughs> got a bit of tasty cheese there. Hopefully, it'll melt it and stick it back together. Let's see if this works. It is pretty hot. Tuck that in. Fold it over. That one didn't go in properly. Will it work or will it not? We could put other things in there too. We might try that sometime. Squidge it back together, hopefully. Hold that for a sec. Get that cheese all melted in there so it holds together. We're going to have a Cheesy Chico. Now I think I could go with Cheesy Chico. Alright, we'll give that a minute or two and then we'll be back. One eternity later. So that seems to be holding up nicely. See the cheese is a little bit melted there. Oh, you know what? I really got to get this in me gob. I can't wait to try this. I'm really interested to see how it hits. But also, we've got a few condiments. We're going to try them out as well. We have to fix this Chico roll because to me, they're just not a big deal as people make out to them to be. We've got to improve it. On first bite, I think we needed a little something else in there. I don't know what else. You can see the cheese in there, <laughs> all stretched out. It does give it a little bit of a different taste. Now let me know if you've tried these things, guys. Let's try some old tomato sauce. I'll tell you the truth, it doesn't taste much different with the cheese, so it'll pretty much just still be like a Chico roll. Let's get a bit of sauce in there. Sauce it up a bit. Let's see how that goes down. You know what? I reckon the old tomato sauce can fix anything, but let's try the old BBQ. Look at that cheese hanging out. <laughs> I won't put quite as much as I did just then because that was a little bit overboard, I think. BBQ, let's give it a crack. Oh! barbecue that can fix everything so there you go folks if you don't if you're not that keen on your chico rolls not so much the cheese that didn't really do much but try the old tomato sauce if you haven't already something i would never tried or bbq look at that cheese pool 
smell up the scent. And the barbecue actually hit better. I think it's a bit more um, sweet, Swedish sort of taste. Let's try that with a husky hit of cheese. Now, still going to hardly taste that. Let's give it the old Worcestershire sauce a go. Got to be gentle with this one, it'll go everywhere. So we're going to make a little bit of an opening in it. Pour it in. Look at that. <laughs> Check out the innards with the cheese. You love to see it. Let's try this guy. Just a little splash. Whee! out so quick. All right, give it a try. Yeah, nah. Good old BBQ all day long. So folks, if you've ever wondered what a Chico roll tastes like with any of those sauces, BBQ is the best. So folks, I'll get on to that next one. I'm enjoying them a lot more like this, but I still reckon I prefer the old spring rolls and I have tried them in the air fryer. These are a bit of an improvement. Still greasy though. Nothing can change that. At least they're not deep fried and adding extra grease. So guys, if you can pick them up for cheap at the supermarket, I reckon this is better off in the air fryer than it is buying it from the, from the actual takeaway store, stores like fish and chip shops. So. Whack some BBQ on it, you won't be disappointed if you're not a big fan like me of the old Chico Roll. Time to scoff the rest of this fella. So guys, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And remember, you can never be too Aussie. And you can't get much Aussier than this. Stay fresh, the old iconic Chico Roll. Whether you love them or you hate them, they are a thing. Sayonara.